Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so today is new mouthpiece day, and in this box, I got my new Van Dorn Alto Sax mouthpiece. Let's check this out. So I took it out of the box, ladies and gentlemen, and it comes in your typical Van Dorn box here. As you can see, we got our A6S Plus. V16S Plus A6. This is my own Selmer teeth and mouthpiece protector that I got here. I've only been able to find these at brick and mortar music stores. Take a look down here. You can see it's very rounded. Flat table. The rails look even. The tip looks even. Typical Van Dorn quality. Got this gold ring around here that's used to uh, generally stop these mouthpieces from cracking around the uh, the shank area. Okay, it did not come with a ligature. Aye! So I'm going to use this compass ligature, which fits not just a lot of alto sax mouthpieces, but it fits a lot of saxophone mouthpieces. This one ligature fits soprano, alto, and tenor mouthpieces. Obviously not all of them, but the fact that it fits some of them is actually pretty incredible. My only real gripe is that it makes a lot of noise when you adjust it, but having something like this, very handy. I'm gonna use this reed in particular, but this is the Van Dorn Red Box two and a half. So let's measure this thing and let's weigh it. Twenty five point eight seven grams. All right, let's measure this thing. Just just shy of eighty eight. It's really dull on here. You can't really see it, but uh, about eighty eight millimeters, three point four five inches long. Okay. Very, very nice, very nice, very nicely balanced throughout the range. Okay. Okay. Uh, this mouthpiece is definitely on the neutral to kind of dark side. You could brighten it up with different reads, but I love the kind of neutral dark set that this thing offers me. Usually when it comes to recordings, I like to go in a little bit on the darker side and then have the technician, the sound engineer, kind of brighten it up from there or pretty much just use the room. I'm just in my house, so, okay. <laughs> getting a lot better intonation with this mouthpiece than I am with the $10 Glory mouthpiece which plays surprisingly well for only 10 bucks. This one only costs around $130, $128 on Musician's Friend where I got this so very nice, very nice. <laughs> Yeah. 
generally with a more open tip mouthpiece, it's right up there. Okay. But as far as its range, its flexibility, it's very versatile, smooth, dark, but punchy. If you like this kind of content, ladies and gentlemen, you can support the channel by buying me a piece of cake. I will leave a link down in the description. Also, I got the piece of cake white t-shirt and I also have my newest design, Z, which is this Kaizen right here. This is a prototype shirt. The new one isn't gonna have this like black around here. And also I have one for men and women. That's just gonna have Sorella Sacks on the back. By the time you get this video, that should be up and ready to go. Also, I have my Altissimo book for tenor saxophone that's available as a digital purchase that you can pick all of that up in the link below. <laughs> Kudos to anyone that actually knows what that song is. this audio technica microphone here ladies and gentlemen i'm going to start using this more this is the 2050 i think it's called also i got this spark blackout sl by blue microphone here i've been having some issues with sound i've just been using the phone's microphone which actually works out pretty well but not well enough here i got this complete audio 2 if i run one mic into that I only get sound through one channel, so I'm going to double up those microphones, get some stereo going, hopefully get some better quality sound for these videos. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. See ya!